welcome to Beach Sweat. My name is Rosanna, and I'm going to be taking you through a 30 minute total body workout today. So, we're going to get uh, blood flowing. We're going to uh, hopefully have you break a little bit of a sweat. Just a little bit. <laughs> it won't be too bad, but we're going to make sure everything's working, get you ready for whatever the rest of the day has in store for you. All right, with that being said, let's start with some knee hugs. So, literally, what it says, you just hug your knee to your chest. Not done warming up just yet. Let's do some T-spine rotations, also known as threading the needle. So we're gonna get on hands and knees. Hands are right underneath shoulders. Knees are right underneath the hips. Core is tight. You're gonna lift your left arm up toward the ceiling. Try to make sure your hips stay in line and literally thread the needle. So love that exercise. Last one, and then we'll get started with your circuit. Glute bridges. So glutes are the largest muscle in your body, glute max to be specific. So bring your heels to barely touch your fingertips, the middle finger, tuck your pelvis, and we're just gonna roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. So pelvis, lower back, mid back, upper back, and roll it down. Really engaging those hamstrings, engaging those glutes, imprinting the spine. Same thing, tuck and roll. Sounds like it would be like a dance, tuck and roll. Good, so doing it this way actually helps you feel it so much more because it's kind of forcing you to use your entire back body and your core. Good, okay. Now let's get into a neutral pelvis. So um, we're gonna have a little bit of space in the lower back. We'll just go straight up for three, straight up for two, straight up for one. Beautiful, so for some people that one feels more difficult. For others, uh, the one where you're rolling up feels more difficult. But it just depends on your anatomy. <laughs> So let's go up. Okay, get you going. We're gonna start off with squats and shoulder press. So you probably will use a lighter weight here. I'll leave that up to you. You can go up to medium if you're feeling a little crazy. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna use five pound weights. I am not feeling crazy today, guys. <laughs> uh, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. You're gonna go down into a squat. So let's set up for shoulder press. Push up and come on up. So that we can keep the arms in this goal pose position. Come on down, press up, come on up. Some coordination involved here. <laughs> come on up and press. So even though this is a light weight, it's still pretty difficult. And you're really using your whole body so for an overhead squat, a lot of stability involved. Two more. Ooh, last one. My shoulders are burning. <laughs> All right, guys. Put your cute little weights aside. I love that they're pink. Pink and teal is like my favorite combination. So loving this today. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do. Um, is a row into a reverse fly. So let's actually pick up our weights again. So for these, you definitely want to use a lighter weight. Reverse flies are a little hard to um, do correctly. So we want to make sure form is on point always. So same thing, going back into the hips, nice straight spine, core is tight. So you're going to row, squeeze your shoulder blades together, Pinch them together, whatever helps you remember. Come on down, and then you're gonna go out and back. So kind of like your form. Right, nice job, guys. Next thing we're gonna do is seated shoulder presses. So we're gonna grab some weights from these. Probably keep them light, just so form is good. I'm working with some cute little five pound weights. So I'm gonna have you sit cross-legged. So that we're really engaging our core here. So try to find your sit bones. So kind of just like lift your butt a little bit. Sit right on those hips. 
And you're going to stand up nice and tall. Sit up nice and tall, I should say. We're going to go right out into a goal post position. And then you're going to press, alternate, core is tight, back is straight. Shoulders are working. <laughs> Doing good. Keep it going. So now you see why I said to use a lightweight. Because these look easy, but again, they're pretty hard, especially in this seated position. So I'm actually gonna have you switch the cross of your legs here. So we're evening it out. Back up. Let's get right back into it. Love these. Ooh. Feel the burn yet? I know I am. <laughs> Awesome. Another thing with this rainy weather is hair. <laughs> but hopefully you guys don't have to deal with that. Okay, set those weights aside. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna be more for abs. One of my favorite ab exercises, it's called the bird dog. Why it's called the bird dog, I don't really know. <laughs> but we'll go with it, I guess. It kind of looks like it could be a bird slash dog. That's okay, a lot of these fitness Terms are so funny. So, you're going to place your hands right underneath the shoulders, place the knees right underneath those hips. It's not about flexibility here. Okay, fine. That pelvic stability, spine stability. Same thing, we're going out, knee to elbow, or elbow to knee. <laughs> Whatever you prefer, really push down on that left knee, left foot. Right arm, trying not to sink into that shoulder. Three more on this side, guys. And rest. Now for the next round, if you want to make that a little more difficult, I'll have you out of weight, but I'll leave that up to you. Not necessary. Okay. Next exercise is going to be for that chest, but we'll incorporate a little bit of arms for um, abs because our legs. We're gonna come up in a chair position. So, spine here. You're not pushing down into the mat. You're not super arched. You're nice and even. Arms are gonna go out at a 45 degree angle. Just like the shoulder press, we're gonna alternate. So go up and switch right away. Squeeze that chest. So for these, you can probably find heavier weights. I'm gonna stick with the five pounds. Pink is my favorite color, so I'm kind of obsessed with these. <laughs> Perfect, you guys are killing it. But choose your weight accordingly, whatever feels right to you. We don't need to be ego lifters. <laughs> All about form here, right? Ooh, almost done, guys. And whatever we're lacking in weight, we're gonna make up for in reps. Engage that core, pull your belly button towards your spine, cinch that waist, and one more on each side. Crushing it, guys. All right. We have two exercises left. Stay with me. Next one's called dead bug. So speaking of weirdly named exercises, this one's probably the weirdest, but I can see why it's called dead bug. You will too. <laughs> So arms are gonna go straight out, push your shoulder blades into the mat. Legs are gonna either come up straight or you can keep them bent. I'm gonna keep them bent for now. Um, just because my hamstrings feel a little tight today. I did a leg workout, so but that's what working out is all about. It's about doing what feels right to you. No need to push your body to limits that it's not comfortable with, but you do want to push yourself a little bit, right? So opposite hand, opposite heel, touches the floor, push that belly button into your spine. So here you can actually, if you want to, tuck the pelvis flat and after going up. And let's do one more on each side. Breathe, guys. All right, hug those knees. <laughs> let's get right into child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat, big toes together. Go ahead and sit into your hips. And sink down into the mat. No 
melt into it. You deserve it. Inhale, exhale, let it all go. Reach forward. You can walk your hands to the left. Pull your hips to the right. Opening up that right side. Walk your hands to the right. Pull your hips to the left. Opening up that left side. Very good. Back to center. You're going to come up. Let's do some standing stretches since we just spent so much time on the mat. We're going to go into a lunge. So, go ahead and sink into it. Straighten that back leg. Core is tight. And we'll kind of pulse here. Press forward on that right side. So right hip comes forward, left hip goes back. Good, you can go ahead and bring it all the way down and come forward even more here. Should feel really good on that right side. Awesome, go ahead, whoop, <laughs> almost fell there. Go ahead and straighten that left leg, keep your chest up. Rotate left hip back, right hip forward, drag that left heel toward you. Very nice. Try not to round your back there. Okay, other side. We're coming up into a lunge. I'm so proud of you guys. Good, deep breath. Take it to it, rotate that left hip forward, right hip back, thrust. So push that left hip forward and sink all the way down. Move the forward up even more for a nice juicy hip flexor stretch. And go ahead and straighten that right leg. Rotate left, uh, right hip back, left hip forward. Uh, spine is nice and tall. So you don't have to round to reach down. Just a nice gentle stretch. We're not tugging on anything. Very good. Come on up to standing. You're going to cross your left foot over your right. And bring that left arm, or right arm, sorry, overhead. Nice job. Switch sides. And reach. Nice job. We're gonna do a big inhale. Exhale, reach up, grab opposite wrist. Same thing on the other side. And come all the way down. Try touching the mat. If you can't, that's okay. Grab opposite elbow. Sway side to side. Beautiful, roll all the way up. We're gonna go on the mat. Bring your right foot over your left knee and go ahead and hug that left knee or that left thigh or left knee. It depends on flexibility or what you prefer. Just keep hugging, flex that right foot. And let's go ahead and switch. Ooh, love this stretch. Feels so good. Breathe into that joint. Good. And we can windshield wipe our legs side to side. Alrighty. And you are all set, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I will see you next time.